What's up, besties? Today, we're gonna cover a very hotly requested topic. Drum roll, please. Money-making side hustles. One of the most important principles I was ever taught in finance is that you can only save as much as you earn, but you can always earn more money. We spend a lot of time talking about how to save money, spend less, and cut out unnecessary spending. But we should also be talking about how to make more money, because it's a lot easier to create a surplus by just making more money than by cutting out every single purchase that brings you an ounce of joy in your life. Whether you're looking for some extra cash to buy holiday gifts, wanna save up for a large purchase, or just want more money to feel more financially secure, picking up a side hustle can be a helpful way to help supplement your income. And since I'm Vivian, your rich BFF, and your favorite Wall Street girly, I'm gonna walk you through five of the best paying and easiest side hustles out there. Please like, comment, and subscribe to learn more about being good with your money. Let's get to it. Side hustle number one. First up, bicycle rebalancing. Embarrassing confession time. I don't know how to ride a bicycle, but if you can, this is the ultimate side hustle for you. Not only is it an incredibly convenient way to get your workout in, you can also make some meaningful cash. If you live in a community with a bike share program like City Bike, you've likely encountered a pretty annoying phenomenon. You'll show up to a docking station and there either isn't a bike there for you to borrow, or if you're trying to return a bike, the slots may already be filled. But certain programs like Lyft's Bike Angel program are trying to help fix that, and they're willing to pay you to help. Essentially, Lyft's bike app tells riders which docking stations are in need of wheels or have too many, and they pay out credit and cash to encourage folks to help out by dropping off or picking up their bike at one of these under or overburdened stations. You can make up to three to four thousand dollars a month doing this, and Lyft saves money on vans ferrying bikes around town. This is a perfect side hustle for college students who have flexibility in their schedules living in major cities. Up next, number two, D Scout. It stands for digital scout and this is a new digital spin on mystery shopping you answer questions take photos and record videos of you interacting with brands and experiences and get paid for your feedback the app is free to download then you apply to the missions by taking a quick survey typically less than five minutes if you fit the mission you'll be invited to earn that amount typically missions pay out anywhere between 20 to 250 dollars but some offer even more my friend recently made $200 for buying a $20 plant, recording herself unboxing it, and then giving her thoughts on the packaging. If you're looking to share your opinion on stuff, this is a great side hustle that doesn't take too much time. Anyone can join, but I found that this side hustle likely makes the most sense for stay-at-home parents who have internet access, access to transportation like a car, and the ability to make small purchases. Coming in at number three, cat sitting. Meow Tell is an at-home cat sitting service. Think dog walking, but you don't actually have to do the walking part. Cats are pretty self-sufficient animals, so they don't need nearly as much engagement as a dog or other pets may. I looked up a cat sitter in my neighborhood and she charges $30 for 20 minutes. $30 for her to come to your house while you're away, make sure your cat has enough to eat, and to scoop some poop. I'm super allergic to cats, so I can't do this one, but if you're a person who wants to pet sit and make a little extra money, this is an easy side hustle to take on. This side hustle is definitely best for people who like animals and have the ability to commute to and from their pet owner's homes. It's also a plus if you stay local during holidays because this is typically when the highest demand occurs and subsequently the highest rates are agreed to. Side hustle number four, Vroom Vroom Turo. Think Airbnb, but for your car. You can turn your vehicle into your very own Avis Rena Center and lend it to other people. You can make 40 to 50 bucks a day if you have an average car, or significantly more if you have a significantly cooler car. While I don't have a car to rent out, I've rented on Turo multiple times and love it. A few months ago when I was in San Francisco, I rented a Porsche Boxster for the same price as Hertz wanted for a Ford Fiesta. Way cooler experience, same price. If you have a car you don't use daily, this is a great side hustle that requires very little additional work aside from meeting renters to hand over your keys. And last but not least, number five, if you have beautiful handwriting, you can get paid for it. Sites like Fiverr and Upwork let you market any skills you may have. You sign up as a freelancer and then set your price and offerings. For example, Elisa M offers hand lettering for $60 an hour and has made over $10,000. She offers things like logo design and hand letter graphics. 
These freelancing sites are perfect for folks working from home trying to make a few extra bucks or teachers during the summer who may have some extra free time and already have honed their handwriting skills. What do you think? Have you ever tried side hustling? I hope these suggestions help make a little extra money for you. Try them out. Make sure to like, subscribe for more money, career, and investing tips. Bye guys.